to say, Jesus loves the little children of the world. Everything is beautiful in its own way. Like a star summer night or a snow covered winter's day. And everybody's beautiful in their own way. Under God's heaven, the world's gonna find a way. There is none so blind as he who will not see. We must not close our minds, we must let our hearts believe. For every hour, that passes by you know the world gets a little bit older it's time to realize beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder and everything is beautiful in its own way like a starry summer night or snow covered winter's day and everybody's beautiful in their own way under God's heaven the world's gonna find a way we shouldn't care about the length of his hair or the color of his skin don't worry about what shows from without for the love that lives within. We're gonna get it all together now. And everything's gonna work out fine. Just take a little time. Look on the good side, my friend. Straightening it out on your mind. And everything is beautiful. In its own way Like the starry summer night Or a snow-covered winter's day And everybody's beautiful In their own way Under God's heaven The world's gonna find a way Everything is beautiful in its own way. Like a starry summer night or snow covered winter's day. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Under God's heaven, the world's gone. Starry summer night or snow covered winter's day. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Under God's heaven, the world's gonna find a way. If you've been on Facebook, have watched pictures going up, people, mo people's mothers, pictures of their mothers, pictures of you know a family gathering, and and you know every time I've looked at one of those pictures, I thought you know there's a million stories behind that image, and and it's true. I mean, I look out here and I know that among us here are people that have been blessed by their mother or by an individual that stepped in and was that figure in their life encouraging, being a source of grace. 
And every Sunday morning, we gather around a table that is equally filled with stories, stories of grace and mercy and kindness. And as we step forward into that, we are drawn into all of those stories that enrich our lives, that bless us and remind us that even though the world may push us off, may dismiss us, may forget us, that God steps in through Christ and says, no, you are a person of value. You have beauty. You have worth. I love you. I want you to be a part of what I'm doing. Let us prepare now to share in that marvelous meal that Christ provided. Jesus sits at the table Breaking the bread with his friends Teaching what he is able Before his life on earth ends Do this in remembrance of me Do this in remembrance of me me and that over and over again particularly this weekend you're reminded of this trait that mothers have you see mothers can look past what we look like or how long our hair is mothers can look past even that behavior mothers can look past what the world sees to see us as God sees us, as beloved children of God. Jesus had that ability, and throughout his teaching, he taught that God sees us differently than the world does. And even on his final night of teaching with his disciples, he was still making that point. They were having a meal in an upper room and he took an ordinary loaf of bread and he blessed it and he broke it and said, this is my body which will be broken for you. And in the same way, he took a cup, an ordinary cup of wine that was just sitting on the table and he blessed it and he said, this is my blood that will be poured out for you, all of us, so that your sins will be forgiven. And he called us and said, whenever you gather together to share a meal, to break bread, to share a cup, remember me. And so this morning at Cypress Creek, we do remember him. We remember his ability to look past all of the things of this world. You know, sometimes we gather and we say, I'm just not good enough, or I've done this thing in my life that there's no way that God could ever forgive me for. And yet each week we're reminded again and again, it doesn't matter, you're forgiven. Jesus didn't discriminate, he didn't pick and choose. He said, all are forgiven. And so this morning we'll gather around this table. It's a table of our Lord's, it's not Cypress Creek's table. So all who believe that Jesus is the Christ, all who attempt to follow him with your lives, are welcome around this table. And if you're unable to come forward, just raise your hand and we'd be happy to serve you right where you are. And as you come, we also invite you to share a portion of the blessings that you've received by putting it in these baskets. Let's pray. Believe in Jesus Christ and you will be saved. 
Praise God with all your heart and your soul, and you will be accepted. Thank God for all your blessings, and you will be blessed. Our offerings are given freely, and we thank God for this, and may they be used for his mission. Our praise for the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. up to the sunlight with your windows open don't hold in your anger leave things unspoken wear your red dress use your good dishes make a big mess and make lots of wishes and have what you want but want what you have Don't spend your life looking back Turn up the music Turn it up loud Take a few chances Let it all out Cause you won't regret it Looking back from where you have been Cause it's not who you knew And it's not what you did It's how you live So go to the ball games And go to the ballet Go see your folks more than just on the holidays Kiss all your children Dance with your wife, tell your husband you love him every night. Don't run from the truth, cause you can't get away. Oh no, just face it and you'll be okay. Turn up the music, turn it up Looking back from where you have been Cause it's not who you knew And it's not what you did It's how you live Oh, wherever you are and wherever you are Now is the time to be so give to the needy and pray for the greedy Even when you don't think that you can Cause all that you do is bound to come back to you So think of your fellow man Make peace with God, make peace with yourself Cause in the end, there's nobody else Turn up the music Turn it up loud Take a few chances Let it all out Cause you won't regret it 
looking back from where you have been Cause it's not who you knew It's not what you did It's how you live Oh, it's not who you knew And it's not what you did It's how you live Oh The good news is that we are loved beyond condition, and we need to celebrate that, we need to share it, and this day we, through that gift, extend an invitation, an invitation to connect your life with this covenant community and with Jesus Christ. You can respond to that invitation by coming forward as we're singing our song of discipleship, or to talk to one of our church elders or pastoral staff immediately after the service. Now I invite you, if you're able, please stand. Let's join our voices. Trying to fade into the faces The girls teasing laughter is carrying Farther than they know Farther than they know But if we are the body Why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't his hands why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't his feet going? Why is his love not showing? Then there is a way. There is a way. Traveler is far away from home. Shares his coat, quietly sinks into the back row. Wait of their judgmental glances tells him that his chances are better out on the road. But if we are the body, why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't Why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't his feet going? Why is his love not showing? Then there is a way. Jesus paid much too high a price for us to pick and choose who should come. And we are the body of Christ. If we are the body, why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't his hands healing? Why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't his feet going? Why is his love not showing? Then there is a way. And if we are the body, why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't his hands healing? Why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't his feet going? Why is his love not showing? Then there is a way. This is the way.
on a couple of things. Uh, Jerry, where are you? I don't know where he is. Anyway, Jerry Jenkins, he's doing uh, kind of a ministry of trying to get some, looking for generally men, but if we want to join it, who will be mo hall monitors over in the Sunday school wing. Uh, we have folks that show up, we're often searching for where they put their kids, where they take them, and, and so we're needing some folks who would help that. So if you'd be willing to do it, especially in the next hour, the 11 o'clock hour, that would be a huge help. And it would be probably just once a month, we'd be rotating around. So uh, if you would consider doing that ministry, that would be awesome. We also need some help with uh, communion prep, is that right? So uh, maybe if you're looking for a place to connect, a little ministry can do, that would be just one Sunday month. We're not going to have you do it every week, so you get a break. But uh, consider being uh, supportive of that ministry. The women's ministry, you got to get over to Holy Grounds. They are doing a silent auction, and it is amazing. A lot of great stuff to support their programs. So get on over to Holy Grounds, have a cup of coffee, and maybe put a bid on one of their items. Wednesday night, for the next two Wednesday nights, I'm going to be teaching an introduction class to uh, uh, leadership. Starting at 6.30 after our dinner at 5.30, you're all invited to come and be a part of that conversation. And then looking ahead, on the first Sunday of July, we as a congregation are going to go to Godspell together. If you are interested in going, please call the church office, and we would love to help you get one of those tickets and be a part of that great program. A lot going on. I invite you to grab the hand of somebody close. Let us be prayerful. God, your grace abounds in so many marvelous and wonderful ways. And though the world outside of these walls might be saying that we're not worthy, we're of no value, you're the one that continues to come again and again and bless us with the good news that we are loved. We give you thanks for all the mothers in our lives, all of the women who have embodied that, that mothering instinct and have spoken words of grace to us in our lives. We pray that that really does create a sense of value and worth within every human soul. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. But if we are the body, why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't his hands healing? Why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't 